What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome to another skill game. Today we have got, or I say today, I mean this video, we've got the Lobbed Pass. This was actually one of my favourite, god, ah, apologies for the noise outside, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, there should not be noise. Um, this was one of my favourite skill games, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Uh, I really enjoyed the free kick ones, I really enjoyed the dribbling one, which was really hard. Um, but the Lobbed Pass was uh, something quite interesting for me. Uh, it's not something I thought would be quite interesting. I actually thought it would be a bit of a chore. Um, and I did this one first. But as you can see here, the the idea behind the lobbed pass, it, the lob pass, the lob pass, is just to kind of give you guys a gauge as to how much power you put on the ball will dis, you know, show you where the ball goes. And as you can see, like you you start off like pretty much in your own box, so uh, on your own 18 yard line. And uh, you can get the ball, as you saw just by the last uh, the last kick, all the way down to the other end of the goal. Uh, so if you're ever on a counter attack and you, you practice your skill games to the point where you've got it down, you know exactly how far the ball is going to travel, you know roughly where it's going to bounce, you can really put a decent through ball all the way through to you know well a decent lobbed pass, excuse me, all the way through to your your running players up front, and uh, it could absolutely kill the the defence. The opposition defence. Anyway, um, what I what I found interesting about this skill game primarily was the fact that the um, just the, the the curve that you see on the ball. You know, I'm I'm trying to aim up straight as as much as possible during this skill game, and uh, I completed the bronze the bronze level with a consummate ease. Um, but I was trying to aim up the whole time, but still the ball got some crazy spin on it and some crazy whip on it. And almost every time I took the the actual um, what well, it's not a free kick, but every time I took the cross, I guess uh, it, it put some real tasty spin on it. So that would be something interesting to see in the game if that has a huge impact. Um, and what we got here again, we got these uh, in this in the second crossing skill game. We have got these signs, and you get more points for hitting the smaller sign. I understand, um, and a, f a few less points for hitting the bigger sign. Uh, but then you go a bit further back and. It gets a bit tougher, but in general, the the bronze and silver skill games are relatively easy. Uh, what they are here to do is for for absolute noobs at the game. Uh, some you know, some might argue that me myself am an absolute noob at FIFA, and yeah, I've got to be honest with you, you're probably right. Um, but we've got the we've got the skill games here, and the bronze is for like beginners. You know, if you've been playing FIFA for probably more than about three minutes. Uh, you would ex be expected to complete the bronze with your eyes closed. Now this here, guys, the crossbar challenge. This was my favourite challenge of the entire challenge set. All of them. You know, everyone loves a crossbar challenge. If you're uh, if you're English and you know what Soccer AM is, and you know, then you know what the crossbar challenge is. If you guys have your own version of the crossbar challenge, then that's awesome. But we have this uh, this TV show in England that's called Soccer AM. It's on every Saturday. Uh, on Sky Sports at like from like 9 a.m. in the morning, and they have a crossbar challenge. Well, they take a professional football team, they put them on the halfway line, and they see if they can hit the crossbar from a you know a shot or a cross or whatever from the halfway line. Uh, and this you know this uh, game mode really really reminded me of that, and it's an incredible amount of fun to play. And I can see people going on to this one a lot to try and get that best score. You know, imagine if you could hit the crossbar every time the first time. That would be absolutely insane. Uh, I was I was struggling a bit at this far out, as you can see. I've already taken five attempts, but I was finding my range a little bit better towards the end, and that's exactly what this offers. And eventually, I hit it. Uh, you know, I was just finding the range. It was just over the halfway mark on the power bar there that I wanted it, um, and you know, it was really nice. But going back to my other point, you know, bronze, and you know, if 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 you play FIFA for more than just a couple of minutes, you should be expected to walk over the bronze challenges with absolute ease. If you go on to uh, for example, the silver challenges, it's a little bit tougher, but you should still be able to do it. You know, it's not really too difficult. Um, the everything, the game mechanics are there to try and make you pass it anyway. You know, because you're using automatic controls, it's it's relatively easy. Um, and then you get you go into the gold challenge, which, like for example, this is where you've got manual controls. Uh, it's quite a, a an interesting and fun game mode. And uh, it really does improve your skills, not just because it's manual, because I don't expect a lot of people to be playing on manual settings, um, because that's just not the done thing, you know. It's although if you do master the manual settings, you will be a much better player for it. 
people just don't tend to uh, don't tend to do that sort of thing. Um, then you get to the skill challenge, and here I really, really struggled with this log pass. I attempted it probably like a hundred times, and the best effort I got is the one that you're about to see. Uh, this was really difficult, but a lot of fun. Um, but we are coming towards the end of the video now, guys. Uh, so a like would go down very, very well. I appreciate all the likes and supports and favorites and stuff that you guys give me. Um, so thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this skill game. Stay around because in a couple of hours time I'm going to have another one up for you. I got to the semi-pro stage. But thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Cheers.